Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to 89 here with you guys. First off, thanks for checking out the channel. As always, feel free to like, share, subscribe, go take a look at some other videos. So what we're going to be taking a look at today is this Remington Model 700. This one happens to be a 1997 year of manufacture. It is a BDL Custom Deluxe with the engraved receiver. Uh, Remington made uh, a few of these. Uh, most of them had the engraved receiver and the engraved floor plate. This one's a little different being that it has the detachable mag. And uh, this isn't someone something someone added aftermarket uh, due to the, uh, the stock. You can clearly tell how the stock's cut out to accept the detachable mag. This was a factory uh, add-on. You can see that it does have the engraved receiver. You guys can kind of see the fly leaf in there as well as there. Uh, it's not for everybody, it's, but it's definitely a nice little added feature. It definitely takes them a little longer to manufacture, being that they have to uh, like engrave it all out and everything. The wood stock is in beautiful condition. This rifle is absolutely gorgeous. It does have the hooded front sight. The rear sight, we can see that there's two screws here, but it looks like someone took them off. I'm probably going to assume that the, uh, the pre one of the previous owners took it off to install the Leopold on here. There's a Leopold Mark, or, or Leopold VX3, excuse me, on here, it's a three to nine, it's an older one. You can see it has the nice rubber butt pad, really nice checkering. The bolt, I don't know if the lighting is good enough to see, but the bolt is jeweled and the jeweling on the bolt is in really, really nice shape. You can probably see the jeweling better there. Gun is empty, so we're all clear, we're all good. The rifling on this barrel is in excellent shape. Uh, I don't really know too much about the history other than what I told you guys. Uh, the way I acquired this firearm was I found, I was searching for a nice uh, BDL 7mm Rem Mag, you know, Remington Mall 700 BDL. And uh, I looked at a couple different stores locally, couldn't really find anything used. Uh, I was looking for used, I wanted an older one. And uh, I wasn't really having much luck. I went down to the Cabela's near me and uh, I looked there and they had a couple of them, but they were kind of beat up and they wanted $7.99 for them and they didn't have scopes. And I was on Cabela's website and I found this one at the Cabela's in Woodbury, Minnesota. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so that's kind of a hike for me. But uh, I, I looked at the pictures on the internet and just decided to chance it. If you order anything off of Cabela's website, like from the used gun libraries, you just have to pay shipping to your Cabela's, and then if you look at it and say, hey, I don't want it, they, they deal with it from there. Uh, but I called him, and I, I talked to the guy. Uh, it was kind of a hassle to get a hold of the store. Maybe it was due to the time of the year. It is October. Uh, so, But anyways, uh, I don't know. Maybe if they're getting ready for hunting season or whatever the case may be, they may be very busy. But I had a real hard time getting a hold of the store. Whenever I talked to the guy, he said the best they could do. They had it listed for seven ninety nine. He said the best they could do was seven forty with free shipping. And I told him, let me take another look at it, and make sure that there's you know nothing crazy that I didn't overlook, and I'll give you a call back. And that was a mistake because I had a hard time getting a hold of him. I ended up having to actually call in a few days later and ask for a manager because I, I could not get a hold of the gun library. No matter how many times I tried calling, no matter how many times I tried leaving voicemails, uh, no matter how many times I sent emails or anything like that. And I didn't want the gun to slip away. So I got a hold of a manager and uh, he ended up giving it to me for 720 ships since I had to go through all kind of hassle to get it. And uh, they shipped it to my Cabela's for 720 shipped. And then, of course, I had to pay for transfer and pay tax. But the gun is in beautiful shape. The only markings that we will really see on this gun, there is an ever so slight chip in the bluing here. It's very, very minor. And then there are a few minor, really minor, like dings in the wood stock. There's three very, very minor. Not really a big deal to me. I didn't buy this as a collector gun. Obviously, it has a scope mounted on it. I bought it as just a nice nice gun just to have. Uh, but we're gonna flip it around to the other side. We're gonna take a look at it and then I'll go over uh, some of the features of it. I'll show you guys the bolt. It's kind of hard to operate the bolt. I don't wanna you know, push too hard on it and scrape it because it is just sitting on this table. But you guys can see how smooth the bolt is. And then if I try to close it, you guys can see how smooth it closes. 
very very tight lockup very very tight bolt i'm a big fan of the the remington model 700s uh, because of how smooth their bolts are and, and how tight they are a lot of bolts uh on like newer cheaper uh bolt action guns such as like a ruger american or the savage axis whenever you get them back they have a lot of play and i'm talking a lot of play and the bolts just look cheaply made these are you know heavy duty big bolts uh strong bolts uh but yeah it's just a great gun we're gonna flip it around to the other side we'll talk more about it steve okay guys so flipping it over to this side you can see again rubber cheek pad really nice it does have the raised monte carlo stock that's in beautiful shape no nicks or anything on this side this side's in very good condition of course we talked about the detachable mag very nice holds three in the uh in the mag and one in the chamber does have the uh the butler creek flip caps on the leopold scope very nice feature leopold one piece base you can see the engraving remington model 700 i know it's kind of hard to show you guys because of the how how glossy it is the camera doesn't really want to pick it up that well but it says remington model 700 that has all that fly leaf around it seven millimeter rem mag you can see that there's a very uh, minor chip right there and a real small one right there uh, nothing too too crazy but those are really the only markings on this gun the uh the tip of the barrel it has the uh the recessed target crown very nice the hooded front sight's in great shape this rifle all in all is in very very nice shape you can see the leopold scope doesn't have any noticeable cuts or abrasions on it it is an older leopold it doesn't have the clicks that i'm used to i'm used to whenever you adjust the uh the windage and the elevation that you have clicks this one doesn't it just turns but uh i'm not used to that there's an older feature of the leopold that i'm not so fond of but it's not bad so again i i was looking for a nice running to model 700 chambered seven millimeter i'm a big fan of seven millimeter because of the ballistics uh, here in a little while and i'll post the link in the description to this video at a later time whenever i upload the new video but i'm going to do a video uh we're doing a series called redneck ballistics we're going to talk about just basic ballistics uh nothing too crazy getting into it just explaining it to uh maybe educate some people uh the, the number of hunters that are actually you know consistently going out hunting uh are going down uh, we need to try to raise that number up so we need to try to get more people involved in hunting and uh, how do you get more people involved in hunting? You teach them about it. Because there's a lot about hunting that uh, people don't know about. And uh, I just want to do a series of videos talking about ballistics and stuff. Maybe helping you choose a gun. And then maybe later we'll do some other videos uh, to try to help get some more people involved in uh, hunting. Because hunting is definitely something fun. But again, if you don't know nothing about it or you didn't have a father or a relative that you know took you out and taught you how to do it, it can be kind of scary because you don't want to go out there and make yourself look like an idiot. So, But uh but yeah, th this rifle is in excellent, excellent shape. 24-inch barrel. Again, v in very, very good shape. So far, I've only put about 20 rounds through this gun. I just got this gun a couple days ago. And uh, it it's in beautiful shape. I'm really happy with it overall. Um, I bought this gun to use it as you know, a hunting gun, but I'm going to have to be very careful. Typically, rifle hunting, I don't really go out into the woods or anything. I typically just hunt fields. So I can keep it pretty, you know, pretty good shape. I don't really, you know, I'm not really going to mess it up in a, in a blind. But, uh, you know, obviously I have to make sure I'm, I'm real careful with it so I don't mess it up because it is a very nice firearm. I don't really know if these are collectible. I did see on the internet whenever I did some searches that, you know, there were some guys that were trying to collect all of the calibers. There was a guy on one of the forums asking if you have a Remington Model 700 BDL Custom Deluxe with the engraved receiver, please shoot me a message because I'm trying to collect, you know, a bunch of them, whatever. But I don't know if it's if it's really a thing other than one person trying to collect these. I'm sure they are worth more than your standard Remington Model 700. Uh, but again, Cabela's gave me a good deal. The guy at my local Cabela's, whenever I went there, and uh, he saw that the price was ripped for 720. He looked in the computer and he said, we're actually losing money on this deal. So he's like, that guy cut you a pretty good deal. So I don't know how maybe that store had this gun sitting for a while and it wouldn't sell. But again, they, they, were, they had it listed at $7.99. And after I haggle with them a little bit, I got it for $7.20 shipped. So I was pretty happy overall with the deal. Um, 
Would I have rather had like a synthetic stock Sendero or something with a muzzle brake? Probably, but I, I kind of wanted a nice wood stock gun because out of all my bolt action rifles, I definitely have a lot more synthetics than I have wood. And, and there's something about a nice wood stock bolt action rifle, especially a wood stock Model 700, uh, and especially a wood stock Model 700 in seven millimeter. Because if you don't know anything about the Model 700s, they're kind of like the uh, they're like the Glocks of the bolt action rifle world. So many different aftermarket accessories to them. People build, you know, like people build up Zev Glocks. Uh, the reason why I'm referring to this is my channel is mainly pistols and stuff like that. But uh, so if you guys know anything about, you know, the Zev Glocks and stuff, how people, you know, modify their Glocks so heavily, they take a $500 gun and end up putting two, three thousand dollars into it. People do the same exact thing with Model 700s. Not everybody, but there's some people that do it. You can get so many different accessories, different barrels, different stocks, different triggers, uh, you know, being able to accept higher capacity mags or whatever you want to do. Uh, maybe, you know, obviously you can glass bed them and do all kinds of stuff to accurize them or anything like that. But uh, back in 1963, whenever Remington came out with the Model 700, they came out with the Model 700, of course, in a number of different calibers. Probably the two most common would be 30 odd six and 270. But uh, whenever they came out with it, they decided to come out with the seven millimeter Remington Magnum, which has been a favorite of deer hunters, uh, especially you know grown men. Uh, a lot of grown men like the seven millimeter because it gives you a lot of power. Uh, it's definitely more powerful than a 308 or a 30 odd six, and we'll talk about that in our terminal ballistics. It is harder to find than 30 odd six and 308, but it's not terrible. Uh, Walmart, uh, your Dick's, Field and Stream, Cabela's, uh, any of your local gun stores, any store that sells guns should have seven millimeter ammunition. It's very common, but it's not as common as 308 or 30 odd six. 30 odd six, 270, and 308 are probably much more popular than seven millimeter, but seven millimeter is probably in that second tier. You know, you have your 308, your 30 odd six. Uh, your 270 and then in that second tier of like still very popular but not as popular as those you have your seven millimeter your 300 wind mag uh maybe your 243 and stuff like that so uh it's definitely popular it's not an oddball but it's not the most common is what i'm trying to say but seven millimeters are great because seven millimeter you get really high ballistic coefficients uh really high energy with some loads actually most loads the seven millimeter will actually have better kinetic energy at longer distances and by longer distances i'm talking at like a thousand yards you'll have more kinetic energy than a 300 wind mag would simply because the seven millimeter has better ballistic coefficients and is less resisted by the wind. So that's something that's interesting. As most people would think a 300 wind mag is more powerful than a 300, uh, or excuse me, a seven millimeter rem mag, but at, at long distances, not short distances it is, but at long distances, sometimes the seven millimeter can actually be more powerful. Now the load that I will probably shoot out of this is 168 grain Acubons. I just like Acubon bullets. They're very good. They handle the velocities. They expand. Acubons are some of the best hunting loads out there. I am a fan of the ballistic tips, but most of the calibers I shoot, such as my 257 and this, uh, mainly my 257, it's kind of too fast to handle ballistic tips. If I shoot a deer at close range, I'm worried about them exploding upon impact. That's why I'm a fan of the Acubons. I don't have to worry about that. And I've been using Acubons for years and never had any problems. So uh, I'm just a big fan of them. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for those ballistics uh, videos if you guys want to check those out, if that interests you or anything like that. Go check out some of my other channel, or excuse me, go check out my channel. Uh, check out some of my other videos. I have several different videos up on different gun reviews and stuff like that. Guys, thanks for watching. See ya.